very scary hey folks welcome to another vfx um tutorial this time it's going to be on billy eilish's dark eye effect and switch it on I got five A really cool effect to give you them demon black eyes. But before I start, literally a massive thank you to everyone who's been downloading my stuff. I'm really overwhelmed and surprised. And um, especially when I put products out there for free and then there's people out there who actually choose to actually pay for the product even though I put it out for free. So thank you guys for those who've chosen to donate any money. And thanks for everyone who's been copying the free products as well because even the free products, you know, I work hard on them and I want some feedback. So thank you so much. Remember, there are still 30 free downloads on my big eye effect is that one uh downloads below after the 30 downloads it's not free no more not free no more gonna have to paste kizash for that you dig so let's get into this tutorial step one import a clip into your timeline with a face visible but especially with their eyes visible step two search for a draw mask and add it to the clip then outline the first eye so i'm choosing the right eye and i'm just roughly doing it so putting four points on that clip inverting the mask so that i can see where it's going and just double clicking on either point to make it a smooth bezier instead of a linear Point. Step three, press the keyframe button on control, size, and rotation on the draw mask. So you press that button and what we're gonna do is just basically track that mask. So move it along the eye as it flinches frame by frame. And when she blinks, just make sure you do as best as you can. It doesn't have to disappear. We can sort that out later on in the tutorial. And you can see there's a little bit of white showing in the eye. That's good because when we feather it, we have room to actually drag our feather. Step four, add a feather onto the eye. So yeah, you can see it playing through. That white line is there so just add the feather just bring up a feather to where it looks right and there you go make sure you just you know change anything you see that's not right along the way step five duplicate that clip and create a freeze frame on the first frame but when you create the freeze frame it does not actually have to be on the first frame just anywhere where that wide eye is open step six reset that draw mask and draw around the pupil of your eye we're trying to get that little white glint that you see there to appear on the, our black eye so we're going to just go around the pupil not very neatly step seven add a luma kia and isolate the highlights to get that sparkle. So yeah, like we said, we're just gonna get the luma here onto that bottom clip, drag up the blacks so that they meet, you know, just where the grays start appearing, and then we'll have that white to get that sparkle. Step eight, stretch out that hold and delete what you don't need. Stretch it out and then clip it off. Step nine, what you wanna do is track and freeze frame according to the eyelash. First of all, you wanna go to transform, press the keyframe button on position, and start moving that highlight. So with your newfound eye sparkle, you wanna keep it kind of in a similar place across the whole of the movement, frame by frame, making sure you're tracking it against the eyelash. Step 10, do the exact same for the other eye. So literally from the first step to the 10th step, just recreate the same effect on the other eye. So there it is, we're just dragging and tracking, making sure the blink's not too bad. We still need to fix the blink, so just after this step, we're gonna fix the blink. Step 11, to have a highlight in this eye, we need to duplicate the other highlight that we created for the right eye. Remember, you can just go to step five and make a whole new one. So step five through to nine, I think is where that effect happens. But I just chose to duplicate the freeze frame of the glint I already had, or the pupil glint, the little pupil highlight, the sparkle. So duplicate that bottom layer and then uh, click into it, drag, drag that highlight across. For me, I didn't actually need to track it. The existing tracking actually worked on this eye but you may need to track it if your eyes aren't doing similar movements. Step 12, take out the blinks. Before the eyes blink, add a keyframe on opacity and move one to three frames forward to where the eye completely shuts and drag it down to zero. Then move across your line, adding another keyframe when the eye is just about to open moving a couple frames forward and then dragging the opacity all the way to 100. You want to do that on both blinks, so I've just done it there. And this is the final result. So that's it. I'm going to say it took me around 30 minutes to actually make this effect. So if you want a more detailed look, you could be adding another extra 30 minutes or an hour on top of that. You just have to add more keyframes to the mask. My subject is quite close to the camera, so you can see little imperfections. If it was further away and you could see maybe a torso up, you might not be able to see the imperfections in the dark eyes, which are really like far away. But keep in mind, if your subject's head is moving a lot more, it's going to be a ball ache to actually track. So that's going to be long as fuck. Thanks for watching. I've got a brand new glitch effect in the 
um, in the what's it called the uh, you, you write stuff. Mm-hmm.